over two decades, Jackson County residents have paid a community-backed anti-drug tax, or COMBAT. Those folks who are being funded by COMBAT seized over 2,000 pounds of powder cocaine, uh, 55 pounds of, uh, of crack cocaine, uh, 466 pounds of methamphetamine. That's just in the last five years, but it comes as no surprise to Chip Hugh. He works for Kansas City's Street Crimes Unit. We also are the only place where interstates I-35, I-29, and I-70 intersect. Making the metro a hub for drug trafficking that, according to Mike Graham, doesn't stop with adults. We have a lot of seven, eight-year-olds that are coming in whose knowledge is just really, really oh, almost at an expertise level. On average, the tax raises $19 million each year. 7.5% of that goes toward drug prevention. Graham says that's not enough. It's an everyday occurrence here in the, in, in the urban neighborhood, so it's really not hard at all for a six, seven, eight year old to, to really pick up this type of activity. A deeply rooted problem that families. Nowhere has this been felt more than in the town of Castel Volturno in Italy's south. West African illegal immigrants have been coming to this part of Italy since the 1980s, lured by dreams of a brighter future. Nigerian criminals spotted an opportunity early on, getting migrants to pay their passage by turning them into prostitutes and drug mules. In the past, that's led to violent turf wars with the local mafia. The way this area looks is actually completely misleading. These are former Italian holiday villas. You can see beautiful gardens, oleander bushes, but the reality is that members of the Nigerian mafia have taken over many of these houses. There's now an uneasy peace, but the police know that violence could flare again. For officer Stefano Ricardiello takes a Gangsta mode to do this move. I'm chilling heavy, 